Okay, so I had to come earlier than I thought because we drew Levski in the first round of the Bulgarian Cup. Now, Levski are the holders, the current holders of the Cup, and we're going to play them now, today, in this episode, home. Two problems. Zivkov is out, injured, and also Aitov. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jared here and welcome back to my channel, but most importantly, welcome back to another episode of Rex to Riches, a football manager story. We are here still in Burgas, Bulgaria, with our mighty, and might I say it again, with our mighty Nefto Kimmich. Now, look at the results that we achieved off camera. So, we left it here, a 4-1 win against Sotopol home. Then, we drew this team here in the preliminary round of the Bulgarian Cup. We won 3-2. I mean, the result is a bit of a liar because we smashed them, really smashed them, and we played like the whole... I rotated the whole squad. And um, yeah, but we still won 3-2. Then we received Spartak 1918 home in the league and we smashed them 6-0. Goes from Ivanov with a brace, Goffi, Zivkov with another brace, and Chahov. And then we went away to Sportist Zvogi and Goffi scored in the 19th minute. And we won as well. So now in the league, we have opened a three-point gap over second place Botev Plovdiv, which is good. <coughs> <coughs> Apologies. Um, now, a few things happened since the last episode. Well, basically, we had to come basically here for Karyana and Etar. Obviously, with Rulevsky, and obviously, I had to bring it on, on for you. Now... But um, after the game against Sosopol, so between this game and this game here, um, the transfer market closed. Thing is that we had two keepers on loan. We had three keepers on loan, but obviously we had two keepers. And uh, the guy from the Congo, which I can't remember his name, who were recalled from their clubs because they were not playing. So now we have a situation where we have only one keeper in the squad, which is Ivanov. Then obviously there's a, a someone from the youths, and uh, yeah, Kopang I think was his name from the, the of the Congolese guy. He got recalled as well. So <laughs> yeah, we are obviously we are paying less in wage budget now because three players have left, but uh, we are sort of short, especially when it comes to the keepers. But anyway. We're going to give it our best against Levski. Then we're going to play Strumska Slava, who are currently 7th. We're going to play them home. Um, probably um, Zivkov will be out still, because he's out for two weeks. So anyway, let's do the tactical meeting. Obviously, the, the assistant manager is, is saying to go cautious. I will not go cautious. Um, we will do higher line of engagement, yes. And... Um, We'll follow the opposition instructions given by the assistant manager. I am going. Like, look at the team. Now it's gelling, guys. Goffi and Zivkov are gelling. Dimit Ivanov and Tashev are gelling. Bezem and Antonio are gelling. Petrov and Aitov. Holy crap. We don't have a keeper. I didn't see this coming. Why we don't have a keeper? Oh my god. We don't have a keeper, guys. Who is Banev? They're gonna smash us. They are gonna smash us. Um, now in the cup, we can play more than uh, than than one EU non-EU player. So there's three. So at the moment, we're gonna play Dobrijev and Zankic. So Dobrijev is, an, is a, um, a foreign player. Antonio is a foreign player. So I can play in Bach, right? In for Jordanov, who's back? Okay, so... Yeah, this is where Kopanga used to come, like, 
useful but anyway let's do it let's try and do this it's obviously it's a massive task and the thing is that we're not going to 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 play against them in a full team because if we're in a full team keeper especially and zivkov um our chances would be a bit better although very slim but hey we have nothing to lose we have beaten teams from the first division before so both teams come to this in good form how do you rate your chances of kickoff it's going to be a very good match yeah the petrov takes captain and ben today what do you see him as a leader the young man is really just for admit no i can rely on him off we go good luck everybody this is nef tokimic versus levski sofia in the first round of the domestic cup and they had someone injured already in third minute let's see how we perform i mean we can't really ask for a lot here i mean we have a 16 or well, 16 17 year old keeper <laughs> who's probably <laughs> pissing his pants we have our best striker out but come on let's see what this game brings along now we have um, set a new record consecutive wins come on petrov oh my god petrov 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 scores in the 13th minute we take the lead against levski sofia the current holders of this bulgarian domestic cup they've beaten ludogorets in the final in the last uh, in, in the last season and we take the lead against all odds 13 minutes in one nil up and praise obviously we praise now obviously they are giants Levski Sofia compared to us um, so we will expect heavy pressure now coming our way but we showed especially in the last season we showed that we can counter we are fast on the counter attack so that could turn in our favor no <laughs> Atansov Atanasov, Georgi Atanasov, scores his first goal of the season and grabs a uh, draw for Levski. The, the, the thing that we couldn't play Ivanov, our keeper, was a, um, a blow be below the belt. <laughs> Especially when we have no keepers at all. <laughs> anyway, 27 minutes. And like we had more shots on target. I mean, they're bossing possession, 67%. They had more shots on total. But what counts is the result. And we are still 1-1 for now. Offside, ref, come on. No? No. Let's encourage them. Fired up by the encouragement. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's beat the odds here. Now we have uh, the league game in two, in three days, basically. So I have to rotate for the league game. I opted for a full squad here. Or, well, the best the best 11 i could put in for this game uh, we're playing the whole the, the league game home so uh, that's an advantage although it's not going to be an easy match but anyway end of the first half two one down which is not bad um yeah let's hype them up a bit and uh, encourage them as well I mean the, the difference between the two teams is massive so 
but we're not doing bad we are not doing bad Goffy has been scoring so um, that's something positive in the league he scored I think two games in the two goals in the last two games um, he's still an assist man though oh they've hit the post come on ladies and gentlemen Let's tell them to focus. I rarely use this shout. Come on, can we counter? With Goffy. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, come on, come on. Still on. Still on. No. Good save from the keeper there. Probably he, 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 he could have squared it. But in Football Manager, these kind of passes never happen <laughs> never I sense a goal here I sense a goal <sighs> a really nice save there from young Banev we can't shout we clear it Oh, for a second there, I thought there was a pen. Come on. Let's go very attacking for the last 10 minutes. It's a do or die situation. So might as well die trying. <laughs> okay. Come on. No, why would you why would you throw away possession like that? Like this thing of the thrones was a really big issue, I think in FM19. They fixed it for the most of it, but sometimes they still do it. They just throw away possession, they just hand over the ball to the opponent directly from the throne. And again, they hit the post. <laughs> stop a bit. Let's stop a bit. Um, let's do some changes, some substitutions, so that we gain a bit more time. Um, Tashev is dying. So Tsonkov comes in. Petrov will leave his place for Ivanov. Who else? Who else? Who else? How is in... Mbah doing 6.3. Let's put Jordanov in then. One little cheeky highlight game. No, oh, come on. We know better than that. Come on. And again, Banev with an excellent save. Come on, give us one little tiny hope. No. Well, can't fault the guys. We gave it our best. Um, we played Levski. So. Uh, you were expected to be on the wrong end of uh, hiding today but kept the defeat to just a single goal can you take heart from that performance nobody likes to close to nobody likes to lose but we can take solace from keeping things more than competitive yes what impact will petkov's goal have on your team i hope they react positively and work harder i mean these these kind of these kind of questions they really need to like <laughs> change them a bit like they're, they're always the same. They're always the same for like the last decade or so. They've been the same. So, um, yeah. Next on the charts, it's a home game in the league. So, see you there in two seconds. So, um, Zivkov and Aitanov are still out. So, um, they're not, they're not going to play today. I did, obviously, some changes. 
And this is the formation we're going with Ivanov in goal, Basin, Zanic, Chahov, and Tashev, Karashev, Petrov in the middle, Antonio and Ivanov on the wings, Goffi and Berimsky up front. Now, uh, Jordanov is on the bench because he's not um, fit, but probably if things go the, the way I want them to go, I'll give him probably like 20 minutes in the second half. Um, let's go. Uh, shouldn't be a uh, it should be a balanced match i believe it's not going to be an easy match even because um we played 3 days ago so we only had 2 days of rest but anyway let's see goffy 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 leaves it to berimski back to goffy come on Goffy with the cross, the header, someone puts it in. Antonio with uh, his fifth goal of the season. It only took five minutes for the boys to find the net. It was a bit of a panic there. Like Antonio shoots, it gets blocked. Then from the rebound, Antonio puts it in. But anyway, I'll take it. One nil up. One nil up. Look at that. <laughs> it feels great it feels great you know because um i was like on the verge of throwing the towel in the first season because um i i thought it was gonna be impossible to to get players in and stuff but i am so flipping proud of myself <laughs> i managed to find the right players Without spending one single dime on transfers. Come on, Antonio. Nice run. Hey. Karashev. Oh, that's a direct pass to their keeper there. Could have done a bit better. Um, But, yeah, seven shots on target we had. And 62% ball possession. End of the first half. Everything is going according to plan. However, I would like to be like 2 nil up, maybe, or even 3 nil up. Because we had the chances in the first half, we didn't take them. And usually, the rule of football is, if you don't score, you will concede. So, let's hope that's not the case. Because we haven't conceded in two consecutive games in the league. Oh, come on. Come on. Goffy. Goffy. Yes. Goffy with his fifth. I knew that this guy. Well, actually, lately he's been, um, his name has been showing up on the training cards. Like he was one of the best performers during training. Now I sent him on a second Bulgarian language course. It's going to cost 9k, guys. 9 flipping k. Um, I knew he'd make. I knew he had it. He had it in him. Um, obviously, Inter didn't didn't believe in him. Obviously, because they are of a different caliber and everything. Uh, we've, I've managed to get him for free. Inter like, oh, they scored. Can't you disallow it? No. Um. Obviously, it's not of Inter caliber. Um, but as soon as I scouted him. I saw something in him. I didn't. I don't know. Um, and I managed to get him for free. They they were asking for like 10k for him, and we had only 6.5k in our in our transfer coffins. Um, so I've I've managed. I, I I said okay. I'm I'm not gonna offer anything for him. Just if if it comes it comes. If it doesn't, I'll take him on loan. And they they accepted. They accepted. Come on, now we need a goal, man. Because it's 60 minutes on the clock soon. And I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. I don't know if I told you, but we broke the, we've set a new record. It's seven consecutive wins for Neftokimik. Neftokimik. Oh, unlucky there. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's do some subs because some of the players are. Karashev leaves for Ivanov. Petrov. 
Let's put your demo in, why not? And who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Let's put Sonkov in, come on. And uh, we'll give them a shout and praise. Yeah, we did more damage than good, but anyway. Come on. I told you it's going to be a balanced game. Oh, nice header there, Ivanov. Um, yeah, but looking at the stats, 12 shots on target, blah, 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 blah. We could have done a bit better, I guess, because the game is not over and they're countering. Look, it's three against two. Biajov. Oh, yes, Sivanov. <sighs> and they come again. Offside, okay. Relax, guys, relax, come on. Easy. Less than 40 seconds away from the final whistle. All we have to do is keep possession. Come on. Good. 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 Keep going. Keep going. Time is going by. That should be it. This is the final whistle here. Oh, go for there. Come on. Yeah. We did it. We did it. Um, well done. Well done. Considering everything, considering that we've played three days before, um, considering that we didn't have Zivkov and, and Ayatov, I Ayantov, Ayanatov, whatever his name is, um, overall, it's a good win. It's a good win. So we will congratulate the lads. Um, now, what's the achievement? We unlocked an achievement, it's called attack. I don't know if you can see it. Um, let's attend the press conference. So, uh, kick it off, come on. Can you explain Samuel Berimski bad day in front of goal? Did he? Didn't notice it. Uh, they're always the same questions, guys. Dimitar Ivanov, are you looking to make him permanent? Uh, I'll be doing all I can. Now, Nefto Kenny has scored a high proportion of goals. Yes, the boys are running to go. Good. Anyway. Nefto Kimik wins six straight. So, the record we did was not this, the winning streak, but the um, unbeaten streak. Yep. Yep. So, okay. So, we'll keep... Um, obviously, now there's no um, cup matches. So, I'll still come back for these two matches here. Because Etar, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, are fourth. Karyana are ninth. Etar are fourth, at the, but with the game in hand. So, if they win, they go second. Well, that's but okay. But we'll come there for Kariana and Etar in the next episode. Until then, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did so, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to share if you're new. My name is Jared D, and until next time, stay safe and bye bye.